friends, it's me, Jonah, and I now have my own kits. Hello Crochet Friends kits, they're in Michael's stores and on my website, jonahands.com, and there's 10 of them. And if you're still feeling a little bit hesitant about getting started with crochet, this is the perfect thing for you. And today I'll walk you through it step by step, and I'll be going extremely slow, because these are meant for beginners who've never crocheted before, or would like a small, easy project to keep going with. So I'm going to start and do every single step with you along the way and get you started, go very slow, and then I'll stop the video and finish up that step and you can pause it. And another tip is, if you'd like to slow down or speed up the video, you can go to the gear icon, click on it, or the three buttons, depending whether you're on a mobile or mobile device or a computer. And then click on playback speed and slow it down or speed it up as much as you would like. So today I'm going to start by showing you how to work on this koala because it is one of my most popular out of the 10. And so you can grab your kit and follow along. Let's get started. Okay, here's our koala kit. Join his hand already. So now if you flip it over, you can see you got a pen right here and you just got to break it out. Okay, then you can just dispose of this. And then let's go over what you get inside of your kit. So first you need to open it up. And we have a little bit of black for the nose. Some gray, of course, for the entire body. Pink for the cheeks. Black, white, yeah, white for the pom-poms. Stuffing. A provided hook and a needle, even though I'll be using a different 5mm hook that I prefer better. But these are great for beginners. And a great beginner needle. And, of course, your pattern. So, this looks pretty small, but if you open it up, you can see it opens this way. And then it opens again this way. So, it's a pretty big pattern, actually. I'm just going to zoom out so you can get the full gist of it. And then, if I flip it over, we have more information. On the back side so this pattern is pretty full so now I'm gonna set my materials aside set this aside and this and all my colors except gray so now our first step after I zoom back in is to put our gray yarn on our hook And the way we're going to do that in this case is through a magic circle. And to do that, you hold your yarn over your left hand like so. And you take the strand and wrap it around your fingers and cross it over to make an X like so. And you bring it back down and straight across the top and hold it like this. Then you're going to come underneath this loop and catch this loop like so. And then you have your magic ring ready to work in two. So what I'm going to do next is start by chaining up one. And to do that, you have to yarn over, which you just bring in the yarn over the hook to the front and pulling it back through. And if I bring it up close to the camera, you can see that creates that little V here. And then what you're next going to do Let's go underneath these two strands, or just one, and then pull up a loop, and then yarn over going around the back to the front, and then pull through two. Insert, going around the front to the back, pull through two, going around the front to the back, pull through two. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once you have eight stitches, which you can, you can take this strand right here and then watch this. this is why it's called the magic circle because it's magic. 
Well, it's not really, but you, you get the gist. And now I have a long tail and no hole. So now, what I have to do next is go to this first top of the stitch right here, this V right there. Insert my hook under it. And pull that strand tight in the back and now you have a perfect little circle. Then I'm gonna yarn over and pull back through for a chain one, creating that little V. And in the first top of that stitch right here, going underneath both V's like so, I need to work two single crochets just like I worked in the first row. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through my first two loops. Go into the next stitch, pull up. So now I have two stitches worked into the first stitch, as you can see. I'm going to go to the next stitch and work two more. Two more. And I need to continue working two stitches in each spot around. And using math, if I had eight the first row, and I'm putting two in each stitch, I'd be multiplying it by two. So that would be 8x equals y. And you substitute x for two because you're putting in two stitches, so you'd have 16 in the end. y is your total. Single crochet. And now for the next row, we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch again. So you just gotta take your time for the starting here and then you'll speed up because you don't have to worry about making sure you're putting two in each stitch. This is just to get your koala started. And then once you finish this base, you just gotta stitch on some eyes, make a little mouth, a little nose, and some pom-poms. So really there's just one big centerpiece. So I'll be reaching the point of being halfway done with my third row here shortly. Just taking my time. And just naturally let the yarn flow off the ball. Don't, or you can just pull some out and let it naturally flow through your fingers, whatever feels comfortable. Cause you have to crochet in the way that feels comfortable cause there's no right or wrong way to hold your hook or yarn. Okie dokie, the next step, after I take my ball, and what you do is you grab like the first four of these strands right here, and then just pull it off the ball. And then they'll just naturally flow to you. Then what I'm gonna do next up is chain up one, and then work one single crochet in each stitch around. Just going around and around. And 
you can see how it's already cupping up. And that's what you want. It's going to start forming and so it's going to start to cup. Which means it's going to start to come up instead of just staying flat and wavy like it is right now. Pull through, pull through, and now you'll be able to start speeding up. Once you've gotten through all these stitches here, you'll be able to speed up a little bit. And if you've already crocheted a little bit before, you'll be flying through this in no time because it just uses the most basic stitches possible. Okay, I'm finishing up this row. So I'm gonna slip stitch it. And I'm gonna chain one. And again, work one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, now you can really see how this is going to form because it's not wavy anymore. And it's already splaying out because the, uh, the koala is a little more flat. And what you need to do is just continue single crocheting around and around like this until you work 17 more rows. And once you're done with that, I'll meet you back here and we'll move on to our next step. You can see I'm back and I have completed my 17 more rows. So now I fastened off this point up through and cutting the yarn and then I put my yarn through the eye of a tapestry needle, just ran it through there. And now the time where you need your stuff in. So you can take back out your scissors, snip off the top, don't snip any of the stuffing out. You need all the stuffing, because the stuffing is machine amounted, so that way you have the perfect amount, so you won't waste any. So you see this whole kind of like stick right here? I just like fold it a little bit up, and then I just stick that whole thing. inside of the koala the whole thing just pops right in there there we go and then what we do next is we stitch it up right here so what i'm going to do is go through this first stitch and the stitch out back and pull up through that's so this is called the whip stitch and then i come back around go to the next stitch on this side and the next stitch on the other side Put my needle through. Again, just kind of maneuver the stuffing out of your way as necessary. And just kind of hold, use your finger to hold that stuffing down. And you can see it's closing it up and leaving points at the end. Back up through. Going underneath our next V here. And then just continue this until you get to the other end. But I'm just going to finish it up with you because I'm already 55% done. Over halfway, let's just say. Let's put it that way. I'm over halfway. I'm about two thirds now. Maybe five, six of these left. 
one. Two, three, four, and then five. And I just go on that fifth stitch several times. And then I just insert it somewhere in my work, wherever I would like, just come down from the back, come out this side, and then just pull it. And you can just shape it up a little bit or roll it between your hands like so. Get that stuff and maneuver it around in a way where he sits up straight. Just squeeze it like this. He's just sitting up right now. So he's all done, but if you look at my pattern, my next step is to create a mouth. So to create a mouth, you need to take out your white yarn. And you start with a magic ring, just like I showed you earlier. Then you chain up one and work eight single crochets into that ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then pull that strand tight. Then go to your next stitch and slip stitch. Then chain one and work two single crochets and need stitch around, then you can fasten off. And this is just a mouth, it's just a simple little circle. And as I go on, I'm gonna explain what the cheeks are, because the cheeks I'm not gonna do with you because they're so self-explanatory, even for a beginner. So for the cheeks, you just do the first step of what I told you, you don't do the second. So basically you just do this first round right here, and you don't do the second one that I'm doing right now. So you just make the magic ring. And put eight single crochets inside of it, and you do that twice with your slightly peach yarn. But I'm going to make the mouth with you, because that's two rows. Single, single, single. Okay, just don't have that many stitches left. Then you can cut your yarn. Yarn over, pull up. And you have the mouth done. And then the mouth comes right here at the bottom. And I'll let you just sew them on by yourself because that's very, very simple. You just Go with the needle and go up and down, up and down. And then your next step is to take this black yarn and go up and down with the nose. So I'm going to do that right now with you. Cut some black yarn. Take my needle. And I want my circle to be right here so that way i'm going to come through my fabric over here come up about a couple rows ahead or in front of the nose ahead of the nose and then what you do you just go around the nose and you come down into this first stitch right here and then just pull it back through coming right up through this area the same area And that's one strand. And you do this again and again and again until it gets nice and full. And just keep repeating going around and around and around. Like so. And 
eventually it'll look like this and now just with them make the pom-poms too because then I'll, I'm going to sew everything on and then come back to you. But first, we need to make the pom-poms. So for the pom-poms, you need to take Star Through White Yarn. And then you're going to need to wrap th three yards of it. And for me, I'm going to go with 20 wraps of one color and 15 of another because that works just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cut. Take our gray and work 15. Just like place it on this side of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Cut your yarn. And then pull out some of this gray here from that ball. A little length, a nice length. Not too long, of course. We don't want to waste yarn, but a good length. And then you're gonna slide that off your fingers. And then just tie a knot right around the center here just come through and it's going to spread out a little bit but that's okay and just get the knot started then slide it over the edges and then quick before it comes apart tie it together see how i got it caught well now all i have to do is just move them out of the way come back around and as i tighten pull down and then take your scissors and just cut through all these loops on the outside. A good way to do it is just go like this. Or you can just come right underneath the center like this. Whatever way works best for you is perfectly fine. And you can just shape them up. All the misshapen ones. And now you have a white pom-pom with gray in it. So what you need to do is just attach them on here. And then like I showed you how to do with this mouth. Do the mouth and make the nose thicker. And then attach the cheeks. And then just do these little triangles here. And I'm going to do all the steps. And then... That's all you need to do until you finish. You simply just attach them, just how I showed you to do earlier, and then make the mouth thicker. And you can add googly eyes on here. Do whatever you like. That's whatever you like to do. You can do here. And then just you can even just glue on these cheeks here if you want them to be more secure for you. And that's how you prefer to do it instead of trying to sew on with that needle. That's what you can do if you're just starting out. So I'm gonna do all those steps, attach everything, and then I'm finished my koala. I hope you loved turning one of these simple crochet kits into an adorable koala or whatever else you made. It could be an adorable bright from wall hanging, just a kit with crochet hooks and a Jonas Hands measuring tape, a beanie. It could be anything. I also have a pencil cut kit, a baby cat, a, st a stuffed cactus, all sorts of different things. Friendship bracelets too. Those are a popular ones because people love making one for themselves and one for a friend or mom or dad brother or sister anyone and another thing i added to my koala was a little loop to make it hang because it, it was really cute to go on your doorknob or just a little decoration around your room just an idea and also don't forget to check out my first book hello crochet friends it's about my autobiography and how crochet helped me in school and if you're more advanced than a crochet you can check out my second book which is a pattern book called giving back crochet the pattern's perfect to give back but also perfect for kids to get started. So please make sure to check out my website for my autographed copies of my books, my kits, my t-shirts that say crochet away and other sayings. Maybe if you're lucky, hand item, bags, all these different things on our website, joinhands.com. Please have a wonderful rest of your day and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to this video and crochet away friends.